What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about sponsorships. Now I figured I'd make this video because I have got a ton of inquiries from you guys as my subscribers. Alec Mac 101, are you sponsored? Uh, do you have this? Oh, are you sponsored by this? You should get a sniper rifle, you should be sponsored by all these teams, you're big enough. Um, in the grand scheme of things, I have a pretty big YouTube channel. 33,000 subscribers is pretty big, especially for a lot of you guys that are probably around maybe 100 or like 10 or maybe even like a few thousand. 33,000 seems like a lot, and I just want to let you know I was in that same spot literally a few years ago. I've been YouTubing now for like six or seven years, so I've spent a lot of time making a lot of videos. If you want to go back and watch all my stupid old videos, you can because they're all on. I left my YouTube videos that I've made, I think I have like 300, close to 400 now, um, and there's a lot of random videos. But no, I'm not sponsored. If you are a, a company that wants to sponsor me, I'm willing to look at things. I have been sponsored a little bit at points from different companies. Um, I used to work with a local field called Fallen Warriors, which is the place I mainly play at. I kind of worked out a deal with the owner that I would go and I'd make a video for him a month of the field, which are the biggest videos on YouTube for that, like Fallen Warriors Airsoft field. And I'd make a video for him just for once a month in exchange for like 5,000 BBs or something. So it just made it a little bit cheaper for me to play. Those of you that have very few subscribers, it's going to be really hard to get sponsorships. I haven't reached out a whole lot to many companies. I've had a few companies reach out to me. I was able to get ProTech Airsoft, which I had never heard of before. They ended up sending me one of their new Mark II Fusion engines, which you guys have seen videos on, which is super cool because I love HPA and I just sold my Polar Star, so I was able to get another HPA engine and then I'm going to install it into a UMP as soon as they release their V3 boards and I get a custom nozzle cut for it, which they're also going to do for me. So I will release that and then I'll be able to have some gameplay footage with a UMP that is Protect and that's going to be the one of a kind. I don't know if anyone has a UMP, especially not that's Protect, but I've never seen a UMP that's been Polar Shard. I'm sure they're out there, but I'm going to have a very unique gun and it's going to be super cool to kind of play with. Um, I have kind of worked with Z-Shot a little bit. Um, I work for them. I edit videos for them. They, I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and their warehouse is here. So I work for them. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I know Wallace pretty well, and I go to a lot of the American Milsim games with him. I just I travel down there with him, and then Zach, who is my best friend, is also the, one of the big reasons I got the job for um, Z-Shot, but he works for Z-Shot, and he's the one that's the head system of PTW Tech. And then Nelson, who's another one of my good friends, he is the head like tech and he does a lot of other stuff kind of in the warehouse. But because it's close to me, I work with them and sometimes I'll be able to get a gun or something. But I'm not sponsored by them or any or any means. I just, I enjoy, I really like Wallace. Wallace is someone who is super kind. He's someone who really cares about the sport and is super genuine. And because of that, like... I, it's hard to not want to interact with a guy because he does care so much for the sport and he wants to see it grow. He doesn't care about making profit. Obviously, he does to make the company run, but he is someone who just cares for the sport and is always at all the events trying to market the guns. It's really impressive because like Evike and GI and those guys, I bet, sell more of the Amoeba line and of the certain VFC line and the Classic Army, uh, Knight's Armament. Stoner LMG because Wallace is marketing all these products at the game, which I also market because I'm I'm there and I'm working at the booth. But I'm actually going to open up a uh, fan mail box. I don't know if I'll actually get anything. If you are a subscriber who wants to send me fan mail, I will open it probably on the channel. Um, I just thought this was an idea, so I'll put it in the description below. If you want to go there, you can look. And if you want, even if you're a sponsor, hey, you want to sponsor me. Um, go ahead and do that. One of my favorite filmmakers on YouTube, Casey Neistat, who is now super popular and has like 3 million subscribers. I followed him way back when he had about 100,000 subscribers and he used to do a thing called Mail Time where people would send him stuff and I was like, man, this is super cool. I do unboxings, he does this. I wonder if subscribers would ever want to send me stuff. So if you do, there'll be my link in the description um, and you can send me stuff to my address and I will open it and my college address, I will change it when I go back to school for around the eight months that I'm in Indiana for school. Otherwise, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I figured I'd make this video. Hopefully you guys are kind of encouraged by this. I don't know. Um, I'd, I'd love to get sponsored. I don't know 
if I want to be someone who's like a jet or novice who uses guns for a while. Of course, that'd probably be cool, and those guys I know have to do it because Jet does it full time. Novich is now doing it full time. He's got rent to pay. He's got a lot of stuff that he's got to do to get when he gets those guns and stuff. He's got to be able to like make money off of using those guns. And of course, if he's going to use a Crytac SPR, for example, I know he used an Elite Force 4 CRS. Maybe they paid him a thousand dollars to use the four CRS for an entire year. I would take that because that's great. That's something like I could pay off college. I'm going to come out of college with $20,000 in student loans. So he's obviously about to now have a family since he's marrying Leah. I don't know if they'll have kids or anything, but he has like people that he's got to support now. And so like, that's a cool thing for him to be able to do. Um, and like necessary for those guys like Novridge got that GNG sponsorship and probably Polar Star sponsorship through his, um, I know, like, if I were a g of course, oh, Novers, this guy's literally started at, like, I don't know how many subscribers he had, but he has close to a million now, which is crazy. Um, when you think about, like, that's the, by far the biggest Airsoft channel. I think Jet has, like, 600 and something, which is still incredibly huge compared to my 33,000 or even your 2,000 or whatever. Um, but it's really cool, just kind of, I'm a business major, so I like that business stuff and I like how it works and stuff. Um, another announcement, I'm going to Broken Home 5 next weekend, so look forward to more footage. I'm going to release a second airsoft heli sniper in a helicopter and actually use a sniper, hopefully, if I can get one built or borrow one by then. Um, and hopefully it'll be accurate. We'll see. I'm going to kind of test it during the day and see what's going on. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 1 and 1. And once again, if you want to send me fan mail, hit up that address and I'll give you a shout out or something. I just figured it'd be kind of cool. And if you don't, it's completely fine. Just enjoy watching the videos here and there. If you stayed all the way to the end of this video, comment UFS War Machine in the comment box below. Alec Mac 1 and 1, and a system of broke PTW out.